Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do OLL with zero algorithms. OLL stands for orientation of last layer, and that's basically where you make all of yellow after you complete the first two layers in Seafall. Now you may be wondering, how do you do this with no algorithms? And what I mean by this is you're going to be using no new algorithms. There are going to be two algorithms that you already know from beginner's method, and they're really, really easy. Plus, you already know them. So let's get right into it. The first step is exactly a, the same step from beginner's method, where you create a yellow cross on the top. And you should already know this from beginner's method. So when you make the cross, you're going to have three things that you start out with. You either get just a dot like this, an L, or a line. So I'm going to be showing you them all. So the first one is if you have just a dot, you do this algorithm, which you already know. Front, R, U, R prime, U prime, front prime. Now you see you have an L, so you hold that L on the top left, and you F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And now as you can see, you have a line, so you hold this line horizontally, and you do it again. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And now you have a cross. The next algorithm is called a soon, and you already know it from beginner's method, because in beginner's method, when you want to make all of these pieces the same, so this is what you do, you hold these like this, put them in the back, and then you do this algorithm, like this, and now you see you have all of those in place, which you already know from beginner's method once again. And you're just going to be using that algorithm, but this time you're going to be paying attention to the top when you do it. For the next step, my cross that I start out with might not be exactly what yours looks like. So just wait until what your cross looks like shows up on my cube, and then you can apply the same algorithms just like that. Because I'm going to start off with something different, but every time I do this one algorithm, it will change to a different case, and it might be yours. So just to clear that up. So your cross could look different than this, but I'm just going to show you everything that you could get. So basically, if you have this one where these two and these two are opposite facing, so you just do that algorithm holding it like this. And put it all back in one go. So then you're going to get this case where you have these two blocks opposite from each other. So you're going to hold it like this with this yellow facing you and this one in that direction and you're going to do it again. Now you have this one with a huge block over here and these two facing together. So you're going to hold this on the left side and do it again. Now as you can see you have a case that looks similar to the first one except you see it has these two facing here and these two like this. So you're gonna hold it like this with these ones right here and do it again. And now, as you can see, you have this block here and nothing else. So you're gonna hold it like this where you see this yellow piece facing you and you're gonna do it one last time. And there you go. Now you could also have this one last thing where when you hold it like this, you hold this over here, you see you don't have anything facing here. So what you can do is you can hold it like this and without the yellow here and you do it once. Now if you can move it around and you can see that this is block is over here and this one is facing you so you can do this case. And there you have it. And that's how you can do OLL with no algorithms. If this video helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel as I make really good Rubik's Cube videos and magic. And the next step after making OLL is PLL, and I made a video on how to do that with only one algorithm up here. So you can click that. See you guys later now. Bye.